tell me about dinner at grandma's. Dinner was always at 5.30. My dad wanted to eat as soon as he got home, and my mom was very cognizant of that. The plates always had to be warm. We had a, an, a radiator under a counter in the kitchen. My mom always put the plates on about 5.15, so that when my dad got home, the plates would be warm. It was a formal affair. Um, we all sat at the dining room table. We said grace. Our manners had to be impeccable. They always, they taught us how to use our forks and our knives and all, the manners were very important to them. I think because they were, they came from very poor people and they realized that good manners were kind of a, a gateway to a, a bigger world. And so they really focused on that. Um, and we always had meat and potatoes and a canned vegetable. Uh, my mom was a very good, I would call her a comfort cook. She made great stew. Uh, she made great, we call it stringy beef. Um, she made lots of, th she made the best gravy. Oh my God. She, she would put it in a, in, she would put the, the uh, juices in a cookie sheet. And then she would sprinkle a little bit of flour and whisk it with this whisk she had, which I, and I, I have one, I used to do the same thing. Man, her gravy was awesome. <laughs> and one of the things we did to, to piss off my dad was we had these chairs with these kind of filigree tops and they were, they were old and the glue had dried so you could come off. So we would put them on our heads and say, one, we would go down the road, James. Sydney Swan to get out of here. <laughs> but we always had to ask to be excused, uh, and uh, it was it was a it was a really formal big part of the day. the The only thing that broke that was when we got a television, and Bob Elson was the White Sox announcer, and he had a show on at five thirty to five forty five. It was a sports show, but the Mon the main sponsor was a used car dealer, and he'd say, here's a 49 Studebaker with a three-speed transmission and a radio. And then we would all try and guess the price before it, it would be, be like two ninety five, you know, <laughs> not two dollars and ninety five, two hundred and ninety five dollars. So that, but that was the only way. And by, by the way, Bob Elson uh, was the White Sox announcer until he got fired. And he went to the Oakland A's, and Charlie Finley, who was the o Oakland A's owner, said that he, he literally saved his life. Uh, Oakley said, I was a terrible insomniac until Bob started announcing the games, but he would put me right to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, though that was dinner in our house.